We are Ham Radio. Welcome back, everybody. It's Freddie Mac, your Ham Radio Crusader, and I'm here with a quick video to kind of help you out with a little problem. Not really a problem. I wanted to make life easier for those of you out there that are trying to do the top of the hour time and weather condition announcement on your ASL3 node. I put out a video not that long ago that spells out the process, and it's a it's a little entailed, but I made it a little bit easier too. So let's check it out. For those of you that don't know, I now have a GitHub page and it kind of makes things a little easier to get some of my script files onto your node so you're not having to do a bunch of extra stuff. So if you go to github.com slash kd5fmu, you will find it. And one of the top ones is the time and weather announce. And there are other files in this repository as well, but the one that you want to focus on is the one that's entitled time underscore weather dot sh. And there will be a link in the description to put it in there into your node. Easy peasy. Not a problem. So I wanted to run through that with you today. So I've got a node set up. Fresh install right here. This is my uh, test node 576332. And it hasn't even been set up yet. So now that we're logged in, we'll go to the web admin portal and tell it that it's okay. And now I'll put in the test password instead of the real one. And we're in our node. So let's just go straight to terminal. I like these days to do a sudo su and go right to the ASL dash menu. Go to node settings. Actually, let's go right to backup and restore. Let's see what I've got online for that node number. We'll do a restore node from backup.allstarlink.org. The node number is 576-332. And the password for that node so this video is password 2024. And I do have some backups on there. You know what? We're not going to do the backup. I want to do this fresh install because I may have already installed that script on there. But this is where you would select the backup that you want and restore it. And then you'd restart asterisk and you'd be restored to that particular backup. But we're not going to do that for this one. So let's just go up to node settings. Enter 576332. We're going to do uh, hub with no radio because this is a radioless node. And I like to put my call sign in uppercase because, you know, I earned it. Restart asterisk because it tells me I need to. All right. And we're doing this on a Raspberry Pi Zero 2W, so it's a little slower than the regular Raspberry Pis. Okay. We can go ahead and ups, update this asterisk AMI password if we want to. All right. So now we've got our node set up on a basic level. and We're going to exit out to the command line. I'm going to clear it. And from here, we're going to go to the root cd squiggly i know there's a proper name for that i think it's tilde maybe yeah, something like that but we're to the root root the root of the root so to speak get that line and we're going to type in w get and then paste in that line tell it it's okay and that is the path to that time weather sh file it's a script file in bash shell and boom, it's downloaded. I can hit an LS and see that it's there. And I can also hit an LS-L and see that it is RW. It's read-writable, but it's not executable. So we need to run that real quick. And if we weren't in the root, we'd have to type sudo. So just to keep everybody on track, I'm going to type it anyway. It won't do it any harm. chmod plus x space time underscore weather dot sh and now we can do ls dash uh yeah ls dash l again and see now that it has r w x r which means it is now executable so from here we can type in period forward slash time underscore weather but you know what let's just put a pseudo in front of it in case you're not by some weird chance in root but pseudo won't hurt if you are so i'm gonna do pseudo dot slash time underscore weather dot sh and we're going to hit enter 
And the first thing it's going to start doing there is installing Basic Calculator. It needs this to function correctly, and if you don't have it installed, it will do it for you. And it looks like it's already installed. So I guess it's in the uh, Raspberry Pi version by default now. All right, and it ends up there with a cron tab entry, which I'm about to show you, and it says setup completed successfully. Did it? We'll find out soon enough. So let's go straight to that cron tab entry. So we're going to go uh, sudo cron tab. Let me clear the baffles here. So let's go sudo cron tab dash e. And this is the first time I've ran it on this computer, this instance, I should say. So I'm going to choose Nano because that's what I'm used to. And you can see here that it put in a cron tab entry. Now, you may be used to seeing a bunch of text above this at the top. It was all comments. Well, when I automate this process, it, for some reason, takes all that out. It's not needed anyway. It's just a little bit of guidance if you need it. But this is the entry that it put in here. And it's notation at the top is just commentary where it says top of the hour time and weather announcement. And it's set to go off at the top of the hour, zero, zero, minute, zero, zero of every hour from zero, zero, which is midnight to 2300 hours, which is 11 p.m. So you can change that as you wish. If you only want it to go off from 7 a.m. to 9 p.m., you could do it that way but you could use crontab.guru to customize it to your needs. But we're gonna go over here to this section where it says your zip code, back that out and put in your zip code. Then we're gonna go over to your node. We're gonna back that out and we're gonna type in the node number for this node. Now others have been able to put their airport codes here where they're where their zip codes are at because if you live outside the United States it doesn't take zip codes for outside of the United States but you can put your airport code there as well I'll try to leave a link or some kind of reference to that in the description I know a gentleman I've been helping up in Canada uses his airport code and it works for him so now that we've got that in there it's control X yes to save enter to exit so now we want to test this and see if it works so I'll be right back I got to set a few things up so that I can IAX into it to give you a example so be right back okay we are back and to test our install at the end we can go back yeah we can type sudo and paste in this line which will also be in the notes we've got to change our zip code Oops, oops, put in our node number. Make sure our volume's turned up on our IAX session. Looks like it is, and hit enter. Good morning, the time is 10.48 a.m. Weather conditions, sunny temperature, 57 degrees. So it's a lot easier now, right? I think it is. I got a lot of support calls on that method in my original video, which, yeah, there's a lot of steps to it. So I thought I'd make it a little easier with a script file. Look us up at github.com slash kilo delta five foxtrot mic uniform, a.k.a. KD5FMU. And I've got some other script files there. Some of them have not been tested properly. One of them is in one of them is entitled ASL3 new install. And what that does, if you run this script file, it's called new install prototype for this at this moment, but I'm about to change it. It'll be ASL3 new install when it's done. But if you have a brand new install of ASL3 and you've got your node initial setup done, you can go to the command line, download this script file, run it as root. It will set up for you DV switch server. Skywarn Plus, AllScan, and Supermon 7.4. It'll do the fresh install, and then it'll do the upgradable install. So that's four things all in one fail swoop, and it's a lot easier for you. You will have to answer some command prompts, but you can do it. I'll do a separate video on that one. So, All right, folks, I hope you have a lot of fun with All-Star Link version 3. This is Freddie Mac, your ham radio crusader, saying 73s, wishing all the good signals to be yours, and ham on, y'all.